Wednesday morning, folks. I'm live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here with the M Live Morning Weather Update, brought to you by Consumers Energy, and definitely a change. We've had uh, 70s and 80s the last couple of days, so we're back to about normal, maybe slightly warmer than normal for the southern half of the state, but definitely a weather change from what we've been experiencing the last couple of days. So cold front moving through and you can see it with the spotty showers. There really is not much rain with this. A little bit of light shower activity across uh, far northern part of lower Michigan, I would say. Southern lower, mm, not really anything. There might be some drizzle not showing up on radar. You might be a little damp, but that is about it. Uh, you can see the cold front better, I think, with the temperatures. And that's kind of what I have lined up here for you. Is, and it's not an abrupt, you know, sometimes we see these cold fronts and they are, uh, you know, clearly defined. Temperature drops 20, 30 degrees in a short time. <laughs> Kimberly Zeismer says every leaf dropped in her yard last night. Yeah, they're falling fast everywhere we notice. So we're still pretty mild for this time of the morning in Detroit and Ann Arbor and Flint and Jackson and Grand Rapids and Saginaw. And uh, even in the north, still pretty mild with the cold front coming through. The wind gust pattern shows you it a little bit better. You can see that wind shift from a southwesterly wind over the Thumb, over the Ann Arbor, Detroit area, and far south central, lower, and then northwesterly winds from almost Grand Rapids. You're almost in a northwesterly wind, probably in the next hour, and that's the cold front, the sign that the cold front has moved through. And that a cold front means it's the front edge of a new type of air. Uh, we call these things air masses. You know, if you could see the atmosphere. Uh, it would look like vinegar and oil dressing with, with these blobs of different types of air. We've been in a blob that we would call uh, maritime tropical, off of the ocean, tropical. Now we're going into what we call a continental polar air mass coming off of Canada, and it'll cool us down. Uh, but we're still in an overall longer picture, uh, warmer than normal pattern. So let's look at the radar forecast today. It's not a wet day. If, if you were hoping for a decent rainfall, you don't get it. And if you were hoping to stay dry today, you probably do get it, other than maybe a, a spritzel here or there. So this is the current radar forecast we go through uh, the day. And northern half of lower Michigan could have some spotty showers, but now we're into the evening, uh, the sunrise side, maybe a, a shower. Hey, Eric, yes, get that garlic planted. I already planted mine. It's up a little bit. I thought maybe I was late. I've gone into September and it seems to work really well. All right, so we're gonna call it not rain today. Now let's look into the big picture. Uh, tomorrow, dry, nice fall day. One or two more days of seeing fall colors widespread. I think you could still find some of the warmer pockets near the water in western and northwestern lower Michigan that would still have color. Old Mission Peninsula. I gotta give a shout out to Old Mission Peninsula and Traverse City. You usually have the latest fall color around and the Tunnel of Trees. Has anybody been to the Tunnel of Trees in the last couple of days? That usually runs pretty late too. Now we're into the weekend, we're dry, Saturday, Sunday. The south winds start to return. Next week we get into a strong southwesterly wind and a strong warm up for this time of the year. I don't think it takes us back to the 80s. I think it takes us into the 60s and probably into the 70s. What about Halloween? 
This is Halloween morning. Halloween morning into early afternoon and Halloween afternoon into evening. So at some point it looks like around October 30th and early Halloween, you know, and the timing could change on this. So it could back up and Halloween could be wet, but at the moment it looks like a rain and then somewhat of a cool down, but not drastic. I would guess that uh, trick-or-treating Halloween time now, probably in the 40s, maybe dropping into the upper 30s. So not really cold, but not really warm. Now, out into the long term, 16 days. Any big change? Any pouncing of a early winter pattern on us? Nope. Uh, so this is as we go into the weekend and early next week. I talked about this, the ridge builds over us and to the east and a storm drops into the southwest that may help us start to get some rain in November. This is November 2nd. That's not a wintry pattern. November 3rd and you see kind of the, the forecast models maybe hinting at the atmosphere going slightly cooler than normal for a day. 16 days out, November 7th. Yeah, well, you know, we're coming back to normal, which by November 7th is probably highs in the uh, around 50, guessing. So, how about the temperatures? Today, Upper 70s, hey, good morning, Monica Hadley. Good morning, Carter Cordell, you from Pontiac. Thanks for catching me live. How's Friday night football? New Lothrop at Ubley, Adam Hunt. Will be nice, it will be cool. Probably in the 30s and 40s. Uh, Carmelita Tiffany, I am feeling somewhat better. So here's today. Tomorrow, upper 50s to about 60. Friday, the same deal. Saturday, low 50s south, 40s north. Sunday in the 50s. Monday back to the 60s. Southwesterly flow for a couple of days. Could get us into the low 70s, both Tuesday and Wednesday. Ahead of that front that showed the rain on Halloween. This is Halloween and then the day after. So again, nothing that looks uh, like we're having a big pattern change to much colder than normal. Obviously, we're getting away from the uh, 80 degree temperatures that we've had, so it will feel like a big change. I wanted to show you a six to 10 day forecast. Yeah, it's warm through November 1st, you know that. And here's the eight to 14 day through November 5th and strong chance of warmer than normal conditions over the eastern two thirds of the country, including Michigan, and starting to see that above normal precipitation pattern inch on toward our region. As what looks like it's gonna happen is we'll probably try to go into a little bit of a southwesterly flow in the first couple of weeks of November. And that can bring some very much needed moisture. I feel like I want to make up a t-shirt that says, water your evergreens. That's what I'm doing, things that I've just planted. And I'll tell you what, I laid off for four days and I saw some needles starting to yellow on a, on a Vanderwolf pine. And I was like, whoa. So it can be amazingly drying at this time of the year because you're warm. The humidity is low, so the flow of moisture from a plant out into the air can be a lot faster than what you think. Get that hose trickling on your bushes, you know, 15 minutes on one side near the base of the stalk, it'll, of the trunk, it'll wick out, and then set an alarm on your phone is what I do, then I move it over 15 minutes on the other side, trickle. You know, a stream, you know, not not even as big as my pinky finger, maybe about like that. And that way it doesn't run off, it soaks in and then wicks down through the root system. 
Got to do that until Mother Nature says uh, we're going to get some rain. So, hey, thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Have yourselves a great Wednesday. Bye.